Scott Jordan with CRCS Outdoors. Welcome to season nine. Welcome to CRCS Outdoors, making a difference one young hunter at a time. Join us today on a hunting trip with Leithen Valley Hunts in New Zealand. Welcome back. It's the second to last day, the last day we can hunt, and it's foggy. Now join me on the last day, as Rachel said, she and I were gonna go look for a big red stack. I had no idea. Look at these magnificent stags. For me, it's always about the mass. And they are one of the best eating meats on the planet. Okay, you on that second one? Yeah. Wobbling. You go down. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Congratulations. Oh Bloody well deserved. This guy comes out here every year and brings all these kids. Scott. You're a legend. Oh, thank there needs you to be so more much. teachers like you. Well, the fact that you allow the, us to do that, and as you've seen the kids this week, it's been amazing. Oh, yeah. And it's worth it every time. Like, as long as I can crawl, I'll be back. Yeah. If you'll have us. <laughs> Absolutely. CRCS Outdoors is brought to you by K Bar. Hardcore knives, hardcore lives. Go to kbar.com. We have such a good time this week. The kids have like tagged out. Everything has been awesome as usual. And this young lady said, hey, let's go shoot a stag this morning. And that's what we did. <laughs> yeah. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, Scott. Like what you do for these kids is in the outdoors and getting them into hunting. You see how the kids change when they're oh, here? Yeah, they come out of their shells and they are like amazing, amazing young adults. Yep, Fun. and then we got to hunt with a young Kiwi, Jesse. Yeah. And, and they doubled yesterday, and I, oh, this is so good. <laughs> Let's go get them. Yeah. Thank you so much. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh He's my a God. beast. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, Rachel. Look at that. Can you? <laughs> Look. The frame on him. Boom. Wow. Wow. And he's got a whale tail right here. I love yeah. that stuff. Scott loves those yeah, splits. Wicked. Oh my god. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is about mass. And Manuka Brown with white tips. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Oh, thank you oh, very much. Absolute pleasure, Scott, to be able to be here with you on this hunt. And, um, yeah, you deserve this and a thousand more hunts oh, like this. Thank you so much. <laughs> and you know how much I love these guys anyway. It's yeah. just so special. I'm a little concerned as to how we're getting it out of here. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a kid with me right this minute. <laughs> hey. Look at that. Yeah. I'm not into measuring but I like mass and look like I can just get my hands around that yeah, yeah. huge big frames here um, strong fronts like beautiful stag beautiful how how old do you it, think he is he's probably about eight um, about eight super, yeah he's not super super old but um, he's at his prime you know so right. Last year he might have come in here, see it's palmated. He right. might have had more um, longer points. But this palmation, that's awesome. It um, adds up too to these so, so when is their peak, like the biggest? Ar around seven and eight, yeah. Yep. And then as they get older, they get, um, not all the time, but typically they can get lesser points and heavier in the main beams. As so they won't, they won't be as long? Yeah, and they'll go get, shorter, and yeah, get more and mass? lesser points, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so, and you'll be able to tell from his teeth, right? Yep, the teeth and um, the coronets, how close they are to the skull. Okay. That's how we age them. To the eye socket here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 But um, this guy, he's still in really good condition. Yeah, um, he looks great. Yeah. They've come down to the lower part of our hunting area, and there's still quite a lot of um, grass in here. So, yeah, he's doing good. And there was all this fern this morning, that, and uh, we got a we got kind of a look at them yesterday at, at a group that were over here, and so um, I couldn't be happier. This is just the craziest thing ever, isn't it? It's just <laughs> so cool. God, I love these things. Yeah. Yeah, and it never it never gets old. Uh, this is my 16th year, 17th time being here, and and it never gets old. I do it again and again and again. Yeah. yeah. No, it's always an awesome week when you guys come. They always come at the end of our season um, to do these management hunts with the kids, Scott does. And yeah, it's absolutely amazing week. Like, definitely my favourite. And then we get to plenty of field to table, so what we're shooting, what we're eating. And, uh, you know, last night we had venison sausage, and oh my yeah. gosh, that was good. And that's the other part about this, whether you want to hear about it or not, the food is freaking amazing. Yeah. And uh, our cook Maggie and Rihanna just, oh, I can't say enough. CRCS Outdoors is brought to you by Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. Um, they're in the back in their bachelor group. So pre-season, before the rut, they um, are in bachelor groups. Men, I tell you. And <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're, like, they're all matey, and then coming into the rut, you know, they start niggling at each other and breaking off into their um, own. And then after the rut's done, then about a month later, they're all bachelored up into their own little posies of groups, their little groups again, I guess. So, so this morning it was pretty cold. So what would attract them to this valley to be? Because it's they're kind of out of the wind. It's yeah, very, yeah. Yeah. And they've got a lot of cover. Um, yeah. And just there's a lot of feed really for winter in here right now. So. And yeah. do they eat this fern much, or they're mostly after the grass? Mostly after the grass. Um, the fellow they'll browse on that sort of stuff, but yeah. No, they'll go for the grass and tussockies. Yeah, so, we saw a rub the other day. Cam couldn't believe how big the tree was. <laughs> yeah. Well, that Sweet. dude can handle a pretty big tree to work on. Oh my gosh. Let's I... pick him up. <laughs> Woo! Dang. I could like 
get my whole body in there. So he's got everything. <laughs> he's got length. Look at those. Aye. Those tines, but I, you know, honestly, I don't care. It's all about the mass for me. So. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Thanks, right. girl. <laughs> now, now the work well, begins. So, yeah. Hey team, if you want to come and hunt with our family at Leatham Valley Hunts, you can get hold of us by email info at leithanvalley.com also on the website www.leithanvalley.com we also have a toll free number you'll find that um, on the website also social media Leatham Valley Hunts New Zealand Instagram and Facebook here we hunt red stag that's our main species as you see why they're beautiful um, fallow deer, tar, chamois arapara rams and goats Come be part of our family for a week and enjoy New Zealand. We have a lot to offer. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, pleasure, and mate. And that is a magnificent stag, and we just got the job done this morning. And I would like to thank her very much by giving her a K-Bar knife, hardcore knives, hardcore lives. Nobody more hardcore than Rachel. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. Look forward to putting this to good use. Beautiful. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Cheers, and then, mate. you know, I can't thank you enough, but let's, when I said hardcore, where, what are you doing next? <laughs> After we leave, where are you going? Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan to shoot? Marco Polo and Ibex, hopefully, if and I shoot straight. We hope to have that on our show. Uh, I know, how many hour flight and what? Oh gosh, like 25 hour flight, 18 hour driving. 18 hours to drive to the location yeah. and then you got to hike to 15,000 feet. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So yeah. you've been working out all week and uh, she's enjoyed the kids, uh, you know, giving her a little walk so that she can get ready. How many steps we get in today? Oh gosh. Not enough. Not enough. There's more to come. <laughs> Stay tuned for more CRCS Outdoors. Here's dinner. Beautiful back leg of Scotty's. Red no tag. tacos tonight. Yeah. <laughs> nice work, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. And Leatham Valley hunts. Boom. The island of New Zealand. <laughs> Rachel, I can't thank you enough for this week. <laughs> yes. Look at these. If you want to get giant red stag, you got to give Rachel a call. It is amazing. And everybody had a good time? Yeah. 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 Closed captioning for CRCS Outdoors is brought to you by the Frontier Financial Group, providing comprehensive financial planning services. Call Tom Stolberg, 585-593-6408. What are we doing, dude? Uh, I guess we're going out long range shooting because Rachel needs practice. <laughs> or Ibex in some weird place. Yeah, I think I'm in the top one hood and I better wind up. On the left or the right? Left. Hold on. This is good practice for it. Furthest left now. Yeah. Dropped him. Clean hole! <laughs> Get another one. Get another one. <laughs> They're like, what just happened? Marco Polo, baby! How, so watch uh, out! How far away was that? That's about. Uh, Range? About 400. Just over 400. 
CIC is outdoors at Leatham Valley. The outfitter sneaks out for a wee sneaky shoot herself <laughs> as I'm off in 10 days to um, Kyrgyzstan to hunt Marco Polo and Ibex. So I needed to get some practice in at long range. Boom! Got her done. Nice management buck. Um, this one's never going to make the grade for what we do here. So we like to take them out. We don't want them breeding and um, eating all the grass. <laughs> What, what what great eats? What did we have last night? Wraps? Oh yeah, my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The uh, fellow, well they're both awesome, the red stag and the fellow, but I'd have to say, yeah, the fellow is one of my favorites. More tender. Yeah. So full the freezer since the season's coming to an end and... We're all tagged yeah. out and uh, it was time, this is the last morning, we're just getting packed and ready to go and it was like... Why don't you shoot something, Rachel? How far was that? 400. 400 right on? Yeah. Wow. So we're just over, so yeah, I'll be expected to be able to shoot up to 500, so yeah, I'll What's, get out next week and do a bit more practice, um, some culling that needs to be done here for management. And uh, what, what weapon are you using? Uh, 257 Win Mag Blazer. Blazer? Yeah, 120 grain. Wow. And you just smoked them. I mean, yeah. you could just see them fall. You don't need big guns. For, yeah. You know, it's all about flat the shooting. Really. Now back to the lodge where something special is happening. So we're pouring deer milk. Yeah. And this came from, this is uh, New Zealand feral, fallow deer. Right? No. Red deer. Red deer? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Imagine how much milk you'd get from a fellow. New Zealand red deer milk. Nice. And you help make it. Yes. I'm gonna put a little bit in each one. So this is actually red deer, people. That is oh, awesome. deer milk. Yeah. 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 No. You can do like this is the deer a quarter of that in one of those. Three. A quarter of that. You not trust yourself. I don't like milk. <laughs> Yeah, much, just give me, give me the same I'm amount. a milkaholic, so yeah. hammer me. Perfect. Yeah, there's still going to be a little bit of ice Let's in it. it. And how much per liter does this cost, you say? Um, for the powdered version, it's $80 a liter. We're not selling any fresh milk at the moment, so you guys are kind of like the first. Nice. Nice. the first ones. And then we got cinnamon oysters. See here, big yeah. boy, what do we got? Real deer's milk. Not that different. Solid. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm a milkaholic, so. <laughs> what What is it out of 10? Well, you gotta do the, like a wine taster. Yep, there you go. Oh wait, let's Swirl see if it has legs. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do that. Swirl sniff. Yeah. They're on There you go. There's no, there's no odor whatsoever. Yeah. And then sit. Yes. yes. That's good. So everybody's gotta participate. So what's that? What out of ten? Oh. I'm giving a ten out of ten. <laughs> Got red deer. No. And then somebody said we're having ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to attempt to make some deer's milk ice cream. Yes! It's been done before, and hopefully I can do it too. Can you scan around the table? We've got people. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do you think? Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, I give it. it a 10. Eat an oyster and hammer it with milk. Yep. Uh -huh. I, hammered I already it. hammered my milk. Yeah. I hammered my milk with an oyster. It reminds me more of like almond milk. Like right. 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 It's oh, not yeah. as thick. All right. All right. Let's see it. Smooth. How are the oysters? Solid. Do you want one? Yes, please. That's a cinnamon oyster. Look at that. What do you think, Scotty? How's that? Wait a minute. Gotta hit it. Yeah. <laughs> you want one? Oh. Look at that. You guys are some of the very first that's actually had that. Solid. Really? Yeah. That's good. No one else is it's even really good. No. The makers <laughs> of the milk. <laughs> Brianna, so tell me a story. What's in the pot? Um. So we got some deer milk. And I turned it into ice cream. Yes! So we're eating deer milk ice cream. Yeah. How'd you get the deer milk? <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, she milked some deer. Um, 
We started a little bit of a venture down on our farm and decided to have a go at milking deer. <laughs> Turns out it's, a, it's not that bad and the milk is really quite amazing so it was sort of worth it. At the start I thought it was pretty weird. I was like my mum asked me would I do it and I was like that's just weird. It's like milking cats you just don't do it. <laughs> but, <laughs> No, nah, it turned out to be quite fun and was cool doing it with the family and hopefully it will take off and become a real thing. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is really nice. Would you like a little bit more? Um, I just ate deer milk ice cream and it's fantastic. Um, so we've also got the... New Origin? New Origin. Dearest. Dearest. Spelt like a deer. Yep. Okay. Uh, face moisturizers, and you can get them online as far as I know. But there's there's no it. store or any place we can buy it. Uh, not just mm -hmm. yet. This has only just come out. CRCS Outdoors is brought to you by K-Bar. Go to kbar.com. And Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. And the Outdoors Tomorrow Foundation. Contact Mr. Scott McClure. To follow CRCS Outdoors, join us on Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. Thanks for watching this week's show. Join us next week on CRCS Outdoors.